Hello, welcome to the Tool of the Week segment here on C12. And today, uh, we're going to talk just very briefly about Adobe's latest and greatest. They have their uh, Photoshop CS6 is available now as a beta, uh, free download. And uh, Adobe, I've long been a fan of Adobe, and the Adobe products are expensive, even with educational licensing, and there's a huge amount to learn, and they're huge but yet they work just brilliantly. And, you know, every time I try and look for an alternative to the, their creative suite uh, for all the various things I want to do, both for myself and with educators and students, I come up flat. And, and I know we have the GIMP. I know there's great open source tools, and Corel makes some cool stuff. But over and over, I find myself coming back to, well, now CS 5.5 and some other uh, tools that, that Adobe brings to us Adobe Story, Adobe, uh, you know, of course, their Acrobat tools, which are sort of part of CS5, but kind of they live alone, and I just keep using them. And, of course, our students, I have a son in a tech school, uh, and, you know, we, what we find is that these students who work with pro-level tools uh, end up going and getting pro-level jobs. Um, I think they, the key for us is, as teachers and educators is making sure that they are learning the concepts along the way, uh, but for a student to uh, be able to walk into a job and have a firm grasp of Photoshop or Premiere Pro uh, or Dreamweaver, you know, these sorts of tools that they're going to be expected to use and, and, and bringing in all the, the, the sort of language and understanding of, of concepts of, of real professional design work, um, which is just uh, critically important in, in many aspects of the job market, um, students are finding real success. So, uh, you know, CS 5.5, of course, included, uh, you know, Photoshop, uh, a full 64-bit implementation of Photoshop, and it does awesome, awesome things. So Puppet Warp is, is my, my very favorite, favorite little piece. You can uh, basically break any sort of image up into little chunks, and, and you can make puppets out of them. And have them do wonderful things. Uh, and it sounds like a toy, but I use it all the time for design work. Uh, CS6, now, uh, the, the latest version, and, and we're, we'll be looking for the, the full launch of uh, the CS6 suite in beta relatively soon. Uh, but CS6 uh, for Photoshop brings, uh, again, some, some enhancements to these tools, uh, really brings some higher performance. Uh, I'm, I'm downloading it as we speak, and I'm basing this on the press release, but uh, usually Adobe doesn't seem too wrong with their press releases. Uh, but uh, performance improvements, by and large, as well as overall interface, and, and, and some improved and, and, and increasingly innovative tools. So it's free for now. Definitely download it. Uh, if nothing else, you know, get your students uh, used to using it here or use it yourself for some interesting things. Share your experiences. Uh, Adobe's looking for feedback, and, and even if your school can't afford full-blown licenses or can only afford to license it in, say, a media lab or you're in a tech school where it makes the most sense uh, to be to be downloading it and, and having it uh, work throughout your labs, uh, well, definitely uh, check it out. So our tool of the week is uh, the beta version of Adobe Photoshop CS6.